Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean. Today I take you to Glorieta, the Glorieta Mall in Makati. This is not a running shoe review. This is more of a window shopping episode. And I take you to Glorieta, to the Nike shop there. One of the best, one of the most well-stocked Nikes in the country in my opinion. Come with me. I'll give you the stuff that matters. I hope. We start things off with the Zoom Fly line. Now, there are three variants of the Zoom Fly. There's the standard Zoom Fly, there's the Zoom Fly SP, and the Zoom Fly Flyknit. Let's look at the Zoom Fly SP. Man, these sneakers are just so beautifully crafted. The thick wave like see through upper. Now, if, if you like crazy socks, this is the shoe to showcase your crazy socks. It's super lightweight and it promises to give you good energy return with each stride. They look great. You can definitely rock these casually and they'll go with just about anything. See that digital stopwatch effect on the heel? That's just cool, right? And at the medial side of the midsole, it has an imprint that gives it an off-white kind of vibe if you're into that thing. They're just so nice. And I have to comment though that the shoelaces on the Zoomfly, uh, Zoomfly SP, they look like they will come undone easily. Some things you just know by just looking at it and just by feeling it. I hope I'm wrong. 8,545 pesos, not cheap. Let's now go over to the Zoomfly, the standard Zoomfly. They say that this running shoe is built for sprints and for long runs. And the biggest difference, of course, of uh, the standard Zoom Fly is the upper construction. It's made of fly mesh. It's a little more breathable, a little more flexible. And uh, let, let's check it out. Look at the shoe. You see the fly wire lacing system here? It has flat laces. We have these ventilation slots on the toe area. Heavy padding on the collar. So nice. Lunar Lawn Soles, which are also beautifully crafted. 7,645 pesos. We now go to the big boss of the Zoom Fly line, in my opinion, the Zoom Fly Flyknit. I absolutely love how the bottom part of the swoosh is sort of eclipsed by the midsole. Look at that. That's just simple, effective artistry to me. Additionally, I love black and yellow color blocking. Some things just go well together, and this does it. This does it. Flyknit is very flexible and breathable, as you might already know. The construction and the overall aesthetic is just perfect. 8,095 pesos. Let's now go to this section over here. The Odyssey Reacts are always a safe bet. The React cushioning is a tried and tested technology, so you'd never go wrong with this. They're a little more affordable than the others, but you're not shortchanged when it comes to style, when it comes to technology and aesthetics. Uh, they're a safe bet, they're a nice shoe. Six thousand two hundred ninety-five pesos. These are the Air Max 97s, as you know. One of my favorite silhouettes of all time in any category. Awesome casual shoe. They have the classic makeup and they also have the 97 Ultra. For 8,095 pesos. Nike Fast EXP Z07. This is probably the best steel in the store at the time I went. Affordable, they look great, great silhouette, great lines, minimalist, simply effective. And as I said, it's probably the best budget racer in the store. Uh, it's probably the best budget, it's probably the best budget racer anywhere. In case 
case you're wondering if I bought anything, I didn't. I was close to buying the Zoomfly Flyknit. Maybe one day I will. At any given time, I keep about four or five active runners in my, in, in, in my arsenal. Uh, this excludes the older ones that I no longer use. I'm not a competitive runner. I'm not a voracious runner. In fact, uh, I, I don't consider running as a, as a main activity. You know, um, I, I see running as a supplementary activity to my main sport, to my main thing, which is basketball. And when I exercise, uh, I plan around weightlifting, I plan around uh, body weight exercises, and running would be the, uh, the supplementary exercise. It, it can't be my main thing. I get bored with running. I know some of you, you might be one of them, you might be a hardcore runner, and I totally support that, but it's just not for me. But I'm still in the market for runners. Um, I have plans of going to an Adidas store. Um, I've, uh, I've, I've not, I'm a big fan of the Adidas Boost technology. I love the Ultra Boost. I like Energy Boost. And uh, you can bet that I'm going to visit an Adidas store and make an episode on it. I'm in the market for runners. I haven't bought my runners yet, so let's see. If you've watched my other videos, if you're subscribed, you'll know that I'm a basketball guy and I can't visit a sneaker shop without visiting the basketball line. So let's look at the basketball shoes, okay? You have your, uh, your, your standard Air Jordans, you have your Kyries here, uh, there's the KD, they have the LeBrons of course, and here you go. It's probably the ugliest Air Jordan one I've ever seen. But that's just me. So if you like the video, show some love and give me a sub right here. Yeah, right here, just click or tap that thing Subscribe. Thank you.